Well, who doesn't like it when life throws him a bone? I think it's fair to say that adaptations are exciting. Who wouldn't want to see his favorite book on the big screen? Or even better, who wouldn't want to see his favorite book as a prolonged, detailed TV show on the small screen? Yeah, I think the joke is over too. If this was 1972 and I just saw The Godfather, I'll be hyped up. But since we're in the post-2010 era, I think nobody would blame me for my skepticism towards an adaptation, especially if it's a video game adaptation who have a track record of a three-year-old who just started potty training. Basically, you could watch any of my videos and chances are it's probably better than 99% of video game adaptations. Yes, that's how fucking low the bar is. While most of my concerns didn't come true, that doesn't mean that the show is anywhere near perfect and didn't come up with its own flaws. So I'm gonna cut right to the chase cause ain't nobody got time for that. Now, don't expect me to do a plot rundown cause most of you played the game and I'm gonna start here. If you played the game, you ain't missing much homie. The adaptation is pretty faithful, especially towards the end where it was almost a one for one adaptation but if you're a gamer who didn't play the game, well, I'd recommend you play the game instead of watching the show. Why, you might ask? Well, the game is far better in terms of everything, starting with the pacing. Now, the pacing of the show is all over the place. It drags when it's supposed to rush. Are you a rusher? And it rushes when it's supposed to drag. Or are you a dragger? Or are you gonna be on my fucking time? Joel basically doesn't exist in the entirety of two episodes out of nine, which is... One second, let me do some calculations. Oh, it's the quarter of a season. So when it comes to that aspect, the game is far more superior when it comes to pacing. Because, well, that's what makes Naughty Dog games great. Oh my god, are you telling me that the gunplay of The Last of Us isn't the best? Or that spending a good 15 minutes holding the joystick up to climb in Uncharted isn't the most thrilling gameplay loop? No, it's the pacing of Naughty Dog games that made them the household name that they are alongside their great characters. Speaking of characters, Joel and Ellie are almost the same, but they're different. The changes are small and subtle, but in the long run, I can see where this is leading up to, and I don't like where this is going. Pascal as Joel is just mwah, beautiful. However, this version of Joel has panic attacks and he loses his temper and composure a lot more than he does in the game. Now, if you remember in the game, he was a stoic, cold-hearted, some bitch who's willing to do anything to survive. Now, these changes don't exclude Ellie. She had her own share of changes too. First of all, Bella Ramsey is not a bad choice, but she is not the best either. Especially in the first half and thank goodness that she stepped up her game in the second half of the season because she was borderline obnoxious in the first half. And the fact that she looks more like me than she looks like Ellie. As for the rest of the cast, they're just doing a great job, especially the guys who played David and Bill. <laughs> whoever, now whoever cast the guy who played David should get a raise because this dude is creepy as fuck and he looks like a true minor attracted person. Now going back to Bill, despite the full 180 for how things went down with him and Frank, now the acting was good but the episode was just a snooze fest and it had nothing to do with the rest of the show. Like you could have had Ellie and Joel stumble upon the settlement and found that letter and you'd lose absolutely nothing of value. Which quite embodies how the changes in the show turned out to be. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Speaking of shit, it puzzles me what they were going for with this character. If I'm not mistaken, I think they were going for a creepy mother-like kind of menace. Now, nobody expects the show to copy the game beat for beat. And some things in one medium don't really translate well to the other. I mean, just take a look at Doom, for example. Now their decision to tone down violence was great because it's not a video game and you have to fight enemies every 5 minutes. But it got to a point that you even forgot that the zombies even existed in the first place. I mean in the last two episodes, they didn't exist at all. And that removes a lot of tension. Now speaking of tension, I will never understand why they removed the spores. Now you would think that they will never pass a chance to tell us about masks. 
This is like this is my own personal pit beef of of this show. Like, why would you remove such a thing? Now, in the game, it was such a great way to you know raise the stakes, make you make you shit your pants, and the show missed this element so badly. Like. I know that horror is not the focal point of the game, but at least it was trying to get that little brown stain on my underwear. Now the dialogue was generally good, but some of the things they said made me just grind my teeth. This is the commune. We're communists. Bitch, are you for real? Of all the things that you can praise in this life, this is not one of them. And one last thing to bitch about. Where do we go from here? Look, the first season wrapped up nicely and it was very good almost great and the best part is that there is no mention of part two except for the town of jackson now i'm not gonna spend too much time on the second game because spoilers that's my next video but what are we gonna do now is neil fuckman gonna take the hard to swallow pill and fix that pile of crap or is he gonna suck his own dick while bending over and farting that shit in our faces anyway it's good to be back i'm really pumped up for the next few months I've got some nice plans, but the work ethic of Santa. So if you don't get any videos from me, grab your pitchforks and hunt my lazy ass down. Love you. Peace.